There are plenty of quote unquote alternate timeline Minecraft mods or mods that seek to explore a different path of Minecraft entirely that completely overhaul the game in some major ways. Most of these mods are for very old versions of the game, usually in beta or alpha Minecraft, a time in history when updates were insanely frequent and the game was taking off at an exponential rate. However, the one we are going to cover today is unique as instead of focusing on a polished alternate beta experience that coincides sides with people's nostalgia, it instead focuses on fixing the update that catapulted Minecraft into the modern era, the Adventure Update. This is Authentic Adventure, a mod for Minecraft version 1.2.5 that intends to explore a different path of Beta 1.8, aka the Adventure Update, one of the most controversial updates of all time. It brings back the nostalgic yet still good game elements of Beta Minecraft while sticking to the theme of innovation and progress, leading to a perfectly balanced experience. So let's explore everything the mod has to offer and talk about why it's simple yet so great. I've talked about this before, one of the worst parts of beta 1.8 in my opinion was the overhaul to the terrain generator. Back in the versions before it, the terrain generation was made to be world specific, with biomes not affecting it, meaning you could get some cool terrain combinations like epic desert mountains for example. Exploration was fun because you never knew what crazy terrain was hiding in the next chunk. Now there's a term that I've coined for beta 1.8's new generation engine. Biomization. This meant that the generator now relied on rules set for specific biomes instead of global rules, meaning mountains for example got stuck to the new extreme hills biome and extreme hills only. Pretty much everything else became flat, lifeless, and boring for millions and millions of blocks. Now, Authentic Adventure solves this issue by de-biomizing the generator, meaning the old way of generation was brought back into post-adventure update Minecraft, meaning the terrain was once again hilly, containing the classic overhangs and cliffs, and more random in the best way. What's great about it being in 1.2.52 means that we get to see what a jungle biome looks like using beta generation. A rare experience everyone should see at least once in their life, it's just awesome. Awesome. And another problem with this era of Minecraft was the oceans. The oceans used to be massive, lifeless, and vast with zero variation, and really zero usefulness outside of survival island type seeds and maps. Authentic Adventure adds life and variations to these dark ages of the oceans with things like sea crags and a brand new archipelago biome that scatters a bunch of snaky islands near each other. It comes with a few options for world type as well, like amplified, large biome where the biomes are double the size, small biome where the biomes are half the size, and single biome which is pretty self-explanatory but comes with the options to toggle oceans, ocean biomes, beaches, rivers, and hills on and off. Outside of the terrain generation, Authentic Adventure tweaks the ever so controversial hunger system to not get rid of it but combine it with the classic way of eating to restore hearts. So eating food in Authentic Adventure actually does instantly heal hearts like it used to. And as for the hunger bar, it still functions basically the same way, except it acts as simply a stamina bar for sprint. Once you run out of hunger, you don't start starving to death, you just simply cannot run fast. And since food gives both instant health and and restores the newfound stamina bar, it's an even bigger dopamine rush eating food. Now, to those of you who dislike the hunger system in general, this may not seem like much of an improvement, as you still need to go through the tedious motions of farming unlimited food just to sprint. So if that's you, Authentic Adventure also adds a classic game mode where the hunger system is entirely turned off, food isn't stackable, and sprint is disabled. And as for hardcore, to make it even harder, it combines hardcore with classic mode for hunger, reduces ore spawn rates by 25%, increases mob health by 50%, and raises the max enchantment level requirement from 30 to 50. These give players a variety of game options based on their likes and dislikes about Minecraft. Now, something you may not have known about the adventure update is that when Notch and Jeb first planned the end stronghold generation, they were actually meant to be above ground. 
Jeb actually teased this image all the way back in July of 2011. It looks really freaking cool, and I honestly wish they ran with this rather than hiding the strongholds deep underground where they're way less cool. And so, well, the developer of Authentic Adventure, Blue Stago, who also made the Minecraft Diverge mod I covered months ago and works on tons of Golden Age modding projects and who you should definitely follow, agreed with this sentiment and actually changed the stronghold generation to match those old screenshot teasers, which is just so awesome to see. The mod also removes the ability of them spawning in ocean biomes, which is honestly the most underrated subtle change of all time. I hate when you're 500 blocks into a deep ocean and your ender eye dips down. It just sinks my stomach, man. Other than this, there are a few quality of life changes, such as bringing back the improved fence post recipe, adding all the plank variants of slabs and stairs, which surprisingly didn't exist back then still, removed boat breaking and increased animal spawn rates considerably as they were quite low back in those times. It also improves the lighting system immensely. There are plenty of other changes and tweaks that I won't talk about, but you can read a very nicely written change log on the mod's GitHub page Page that lists out all the tweaks, items, and features. Which, speaking of, I got some insider info that the next update of the mod will be released for Christmas 2023, so definitely go follow the project for some awesome new upcoming features. Now, you may be sitting there thinking, Ryan, sell me on this. This seems like it barely changes anything, so how can you really call it a parallel timeline mod if you compare it to something that really changes the game, like better than adventure? First off, that is kind of the point of authentic adventure. It's meant to be a minimalistic experience, polishing out the terrible quirks and bugs and useless features of the early middle age time period of Minecraft giving the player more sandbox options to their liking and a better, more balanced experience overall. It addresses a lot of the problems and complaints of the time in the perfect way. It's almost like a vanilla plus type thing. It also bridges the gap between Golden Age and modern Minecraft players, which I feel like is split right down the middle, with Golden Age enjoyers playing alpha and beta and modern players obviously playing the newest versions of Minecraft. The Middle Ages kind of get forgotten about, and Authentic Adventure is a great gateway into that forgotten time period. If you're a longtime fan of 1.2.5, argue one of the best versions in Minecraft history like I am, I definitely recommend just playing through to the Ender Dragon on this mod, as the above ground strongholds are a chef's kiss. Now, due to the way Authentic Adventure interacts with the vanilla code, the mod is unfortunately not really compatible with very many other mods. I was able to get it working with things that don't add or tweak gameplay too much, like too many items, but anything that adds a significant amount of blocks or items is just simply not going to work, unfortunately. But still try it out with your favorite old mods and see if it works. You never know. I also think while well, complete overhaul mods like Better Than Adventure and Not So Secret Saturday are, of course, amazing and impressive and deserve the love that they receive, but there's also a demographic of Minecraft player that does not like huge changes to the vanilla game like that. A demographic that enjoys these nostalgic subtleties and quality of life changes to older versions. I'm somewhere in between both of those, but I definitely firmly believe that minimalist golden age mods like Authentic Adventure deserve attention and love, and hence why you're sitting here watching me blab about it. Which I of course appreciate, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure to like it, subscribe to my channel if you're brand new and love nostalgic themed Minecraft content, head over to my Discord server for all channel updates and hang out with me and other awesome people and tell your friends. As always, I love you all and I'll see you in the next video. Special shout out to my channel members on these signs, especially my night members Crimson, Thomas Wellman Boyd, Melon Siggy, Alex LG, Caden TMG, and the AB Rail Fan. And of course, my beloved Lord members Tor Willem, Vipichu, and Dirty Dan.